everybody. Day 53 of my semi-automatic handgun collection videos. And we're going to continue with the Berettas. And today we're going to do my Inox Berettas. Now I've already shown you two of them. One was my Elite 2 that I showed you the other day. And the other was that Compact L that I had customized by Wilson Combat. And today I'm starting off with my 92 FS Vertec. Now, since this is the Vertec model, it is a little different because it does have a rail on it right here. They also take care of my biggest problem with most 92 FSs in that they beef up the front end of the slide so that the front sight is actually dovetailed and can be removed and replaced. But the biggest difference, of course, is the Vertec grip. Instead of having that Beretta hump at the back that they usually have, this one has a straighter grip. It is more like a 1911 type of a grip, and a lot of people prefer that feel. Now this gun's sort of stock, but I have made some changes to it. I haven't changed the barrel. It's the normal standard length barrel, but I did put an extended magazine release on it. I replaced the standard hammer with a skeletonized hammer, and I did add the G-type conversion on here, so it is now decocker only, and you can tell it's the conversion because of the look of that weak side safety lever there. And of course, I added some G10 grips. Not sure if these are VZs or Hogues, but based on the pattern here, I think they might be Hogue. And that's my Beretta 92 FS Vertec. Next, we move on here to another 92 FS, but this one has been all ghosted out. This one is an all stainless gun. Being an Inox, it usually is stainless, at least the slide and the barrel, etc., are. But this one's gone even further. The safety, the takedown lever, the mag release, everything else on this gun, even the trigger, is stainless. Now, the frame, of course, is still aluminum like they almost always are. Now, this one has not been converted to a Type G because there's not really a stainless Type G conversion kit. There's one that's coated to look stainless but this one's actually stainless and I'm not carrying this gun, so I don't mind that it has a manual safety. I'd rather leave that stainless safety on there. Now, the only thing on the gun that isn't stainless is the rear sight. There is an urban legend that there is a stainless rear sight out there somewhere, but I've never seen it, never been able to find it. So if you know of the whereabouts of one, let me know because I would love to have it. In most other ways, other than all the stainless parts, this is just like any other Beretta 92 FS. The front sight is part of the slide. It's integral and cannot be replaced. But this one does have a nicer target crowned barrel. So that's a little bit of a difference from the regular 92 FSs. I can't remember if I changed that or if it came like that, but uh, that's not what you would usually find on a standard Beretta. The hammer is also not standard. It is, once again, a skeletonized stainless hammer. And I have also put dark gray Aluma grips on here to kind of continue that uh, stainless look. I did want a little bit of contrast though. I actually have regular just aluminum silver grips for this that blend in more, but I actually like it when they're just a little bit darker shade and stand out better like these ones. So that's my ghosted out Beretta 92 FS. All right, next we have a gun that's probably not gonna show up that well on camera, but it's another Beretta 92 FS Inox that I have given the pimp treatment to. This gun has been all pimped out. I sent it to Patriot Gun Polishing and he polished up the slide for me and Tim coated all the controls to give him that gold finish that any pimp gun definitely needs. Pretty much everything about this gun is a stock 92 FS, including that front sight being integral and the barrel being the standard length barrel. But like I said, it has been given the pimp treatment. Now, not only did I have the slide high polished and the controls tin coated so that they'd be gold, I also had the frame done in a dark green, you know, for the color of money. Because what's the point of being a pimp if you ain't gonna get paid? I also put these Hogue faux pearl grips on it with these wicked grip grip screws that have a really nice design and a little gemstone inlaid in there. I think these ones are mother of pearl. And when you put all that together, you get a very classy looking pimp gun. Now, some people ask, why would you want a Beretta as your pimp gun? Well, what better gun than an Italian gun for a pimp gun? And it's got some good weight to it. If you've got to smack up one of your hoes, you want them to know they've been smacked. You don't want him coming out there and being like, eh, barely felt it. You want them to get back in line. So you want a gun that's got some heft to it because you know, you're not shooting your hose. That would ruin your business. You're just giving them a little smack every now and then. So you want some heft to your pimp gun. 
And after showing this gun, that completes the Inox segment of my Beretta collection.